Hi guys and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to pass your HESI test with a 95% or more. I'm going to be giving you some tips, some specific questions or topics, and um, we'll go over there. So first, in my case, I, ha I was required to take four sections of it, which was the reading comprehension, grammar, anatomy, physiology, and math okay and i scored um 96 percent so i'm gonna show you how to do that um first i'm gonna be talking about the overall test which is uh you get four hours in total so if you take these sections and it's basically you have your own time to give on each section so if you want to give more time on math than others you can do that so in total you will have the time they give you you can also take a break in between and you just stop the timer and you can step out so uh and in the last in uh, after finishing each section you get to see your results which is actually like good and bad at the same time but um also, after finishing all your sections, you get your overall score and you can even print your report. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about each section. And um, bef before that, I want to talk about two books that really, really helped me. I use them a lot for preparing myself. It's this one and this one. Okay, so I'll be talking about them for each section as well. Um, let's see. Okay, to start with, I'm going to be talking about anatomy and physiology. So in this one, it's it seems hard, but it's not. It's actually all the basic topics that we cover in high school or in first uh, college level biology. So it consists of all the body systems. So be familiar with it, know the anatomy and the physiology. So like stomach what does it do you know esophagus what does it do just basic stuff not that hard not in depth okay so um i'm, go I'm gonna be putting a there's a link to a quizlet it's right down below i'll put it there it's very good because um it helps you brush over whatever you have learned in ap now one uh some specific topics for anatomy and physiology is for example you need to know your your all your hormones like where are they located where are they produce and what is it used for the bones of the year i got that like two questions actually so you know you have to know the anatomy of the ear then bone ossification bone remodeling what is needed osteocyte osteo osteoclasts and all that you also need to know the difference between ligaments, tendons, and joints. Um, also, one of the most important thing is, again, like I said, you need to know which organ belongs to which organ system. And then you can connect, you know, what is used and um, the interlinks between the organs in different body systems. So now we move on to math. I really like this portion. It was easy, basic math, college algebra. Um, I scored 100% in that. So what you have to do is just revise the topics that are in the books that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, it's mostly just simple ratios, fractions, how to multiply, divide, subtract and add fractions, how to convert between fractions to decimals, decimals to percentages, or you know, uh, any one of them. Also, you need to know how to convert normal time into military time or military time into standard time. Then just revise the book. Trust me guys, this portion is easy. And uh, like you know, if you're subscribed to this channel or if you're new, I have a lot of math videos in my channel, so don't forget to check them. I basically show all the topics that are going to be covered in the HESI, and I give you like very easy methods to cover to solve the questions. So that is about math. Okay, 
now we move to grammar so grammar actually was one of my most you know fearing section because um i was like all oh, the rules and all i can't remember so much but i got 100 percent on that one too and i just what i basically did was revise the topics again in the book that i showed you guys um there are all the rules there you need to know those rules it's basically it you just have to apply it in the questions that are shown in the head scene so for example comma rules punctuation rules um now there's also some questions where they show you that are uh you need to know the difference between words that sound similar but have different meaning like for example there and there so this there means you know possessive right while there means location anyways you all all you need is the rules in that book there's a lot of practice questions in that book too you can time yourself and see where you at um also know for example um contractions so they are it means they are so contraction words right so that's basically it for grammar i really can't tell you um oh yeah then again you need to know contraction for example you your and you are right this means your means possessive uh, adjective why this one's means that it's you are a contraction of that you need to know the verb tenses not that much but just the basic stuff just i would what i would do is read the question by my mind and see does it sound correct and then i would go from there capitalization when to you know use a big letter and yeah that's it lastly for reading comprehension I really, when I was studying for the HESI, I didn't think there was a way to study for this particular section. So what I did was just practice reading and answering questions, you know. Um, I was so scared for this one because um, I thought the passage, you know, the reading passages was going to be difficult ones. I wouldn't understand them and all that. But it was the opposite. They gave us a very short paragraphs and very easy to understand. So it was it wasn't hard at all. So don't stress on that. They give you simple words, right? You have to read the question. What I did was read the question first and then read the passage so you can find the answer in the passage because you already know what the question is. So um, you need to also while reading they will ask you mainly about what's the main idea of the passage the supporting details right because sometimes they say what is the uh, best option for this so if you know the supporting details you will easily choose the correct answer the author's purpose right what is the tone of the passage is it informative i don't know um make interferences um and that means make conclusions so sometimes they will give you like a question which says what it would be if you know and based on the passage you have to make your own conclusions understanding what it said so you need to know the uh, difference between a fact and an opinion opinion is your own thing what you think but fact is information that you can't change right and um context cues means uh sometimes they will give you a word and they'll say what is the meaning of this based on the context so you have to read the passage and see what is most similar to the meaning so that was for reading comprehension and that's it for the video don't stress guys you'll be really good at it just practice don't procrastinate and whatever i said just do it i'm gonna again um the books are very 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 good use them and the for ap i'm putting the quizlet link and that's about it so good luck to anyone who's taking the hesi soon and have a great day don't forget to subscribe